The Costa Favelosa is the latest mammoth in the Costa fleet. A brand new supercruiser due to launch from Venice just days from now. In the shipyard, contractors are struggling to meet the deadline. A lot of things are way behind. The chairman and CEO of the cruise line will board soon for a full inspection. He likes his ship, ship shape. And here, everything is far from ready. It's chaos. All revealed in cruise ship diaries. Costa Favalosa is about to take over from the Costa Deliciosa as the flagship of the fleet. She is nearing completion in the Ficantieri shipyard in Venice. It's taken over one year, 3,000 people and over 500 million euros to piece her together. The chairman and CEO of the cruise line, Mr. Pierluigi Foschi, known as the president to most staff, will board in just three days for the launch of the ship. All departments have been briefed be ready at all costs. We're very short of time. So we're doing about 10 days work in three days. The dining room, theater, atrium and bridge on the new ship have come a long way, but don't yet match up to those on the Costa Deliciosa. Mr. Foskey will want a full tour and is known for his perfectionism. The pressure is on. The last person you want to disappoint is the boss. You've got to pass the test, so to speak. Big pressure. Look at this piece of art. Susie Scroggy has been on board for several days. She has been selected as English hostess for this opening season. It's considered to be that a selection of the most experienced crew members do the inauguration. When I received my contract, the title of the contract was, you've been chosen for this. <laughs> it's nice, this bar. This is going to be where I take my morning coffee. I like the ship. I love the decoration, because it's really more my style. It's a little bit kitsch in some ways. What is that? <laughs> so for me, I'm already having a great time. <laughs> Although Susie has been on board for days, Ignazio Giardina, the captain, has been living on board for weeks. The captain embarks very, very early on. A lot of the decisions about the bridge and decisions that I don't even know anything about work in conjunction with him, and that's why he's on board so early. He's a lot quieter than Captain Zanisi. <laughs> In the theater, the builders and technicians have been taking strain we for weeks. Dimables, which no, we can throw we a, um, a, we, Mr. Foskey is very particular the about the theater and the shows. The cast of the stage shows is now on board and they're ready to rehearse, but they can't use the stage until the installation is complete. Living and working in a building site is taking its toll. The negatives are that the crew bar is not open, so we can't get water, we can't go down and just have a coffee. The crew gym is also closed. I've been literally doing push-ups and stomach exercise and everything along the corridors. Yeah, people are working and they're like this, going, what is this woman doing, you know? I'm the only one going, yeah, I've got to stay in shape somehow, you know? The laundromat is not open, and this is a massive problem. So, you know, it's either a case of going without underwear or wearing your underwear inside out, which is quite repulsive, you know. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> yeah, really ridiculous. You just find a way, you find a way. As the VIP visit draws near and the final fittings are almost complete, a specialized team of security experts board the ship. The key members of the team are the dogs trained to sniff out explosives.
There is a risk that dangerous devices could have been hidden during construction and every inch of the ship must be checked. Dogs are the most important tools in this kind of search. They can uh, smell a particle of uh, explosive of any kind. Each of the 1,508 cabins is searched. Once the bomb squad have completed the search of the guest rooms, they head down to the bowels of the ship. The fresh paint is highly toxic. The inspection must be completed quickly. I uh, just we want to check uh, structures of the ship and everything is clear. As all departments race to finish, the hotel staff have found a problem in the president's master suite. So apparently there are no bubbles. The president cannot enjoy our jacuzzi. We have to immediately solve the problem. The president's suite is not the only area needing attention. This room is in a lot of trouble. Not going to be ready by tomorrow morning. Carl Impey is responsible for lighting every inch of the ship. Each area on board has a pre-programmed lighting system designed by Carl that changes the colour and brightness of every space throughout the day and night. Ah, another fix. Lighting is more important than you can imagine. If a lounge is too bright, especially in the evening, people just don't go there. He basically wants that to be pink in the morning. Uh, an amber in the afternoon, but um, I don't see it happening by tomorrow. <laughs> With Mr. Foskey having personally chosen the lighting scheme for each area, there is no room for mistakes. I've never spoken directly with him. Uh, maybe once or twice I've caught his eye and, and said good evening and, and things like that. But I know that he likes his ship ship shape. <laughs> Fortunately, the theatre is shaping up. So normally we should have here a lighting console and all the various peripheral controls that control pyrotechnics, confetti, lasers. And at the moment, none of them are ready yet. So we're all a little bit concerned. The dancers finally have access to the stage. At least we can watch the dancers rehearsing now. And some lovely looking dancers there are too. The cast is now under major pressure. Mr. Foskey takes special interest in the stage shows and has been known to ask for changes if he isn't pleased. Gerald, the choreographer, has his work cut out for him. I mean, it's chaos. I mean, it's chaos. You're in the yard, you've got workers that are left, right and centre. You've got the ship personnel that's there. It's, it's chaos. It's a building site. Air conditioners not working. People are dying. And then you've got to rehearse with them in the morning and they're grumpy and they haven't slept. And it's huge, huge frustrations. <laughs> It isn't only explosives that the security team search for. The team sweep each area for any surveillance devices that could have been planted by competitors. Industrial espionage is a real threat. So we do an ambience clearance. Like we're searching for signal as a transmitter, receiver, and discovering hidden cameras or microphones or anything like that. Thing. 
Carl's team is pushing hard. This one is not lit yet. There's a lot of things that are way behind and we just have to fix them and there's no... Because from tomorrow start the challenge. New challenge, Costa Fabulous. The entertainment and guest services team go through the plan to welcome the president and all VIP guests tomorrow. Do not relax too much, all right? The outcome of a bomb search can change any plan. Bloody boy, up. The bomb squad are searching the spa and gym areas. Why the dog just got something? The dog confirms it's fine. So now we have to open this one because all we open and we find a explosive. Yes. If the other dogs come down and uh, he sits, then we all have to evacuate. The second dog confirms there is something behind the panel. Two dogs pick up the same interest, so we have to check it. Okay. Chemicals in the spa products and a stray piece of roofing are the cause of the alarm. Without lights, we could see this kind of things that looks wiring, okay? And we could only see a small part like this with a foil on top. Good boy! The search of the ship is over. <laughs> Tractors will be working through the night to be finished by dawn. The Costa Favelosa is almost ready to welcome the chairman and CEO of the cruise line and guests. They will board shortly. This is the dish how it's supposed to be tonight. Chef Stefano Fontanesi has been brought on board specifically to cater for the high profile guests. This is how this will be for our president tonight. Very simple, just a seared tuna, sesame seeds, slightly toasted, crunchy vegetables bit of olive oil. That will be the starter for our president tonight. The senior hotel staff need to be reassured that he has everything under control. And it will be a kind of Mediterranean sashimi. Okay. So Let's try just a little slice of this. Of course. Yeah. Dinner is the last thing on the minds of the officers. Probably the busiest possible time on the bridge. It's really a big pressure. After dinner tonight, Mr. Foskey and his guests will preview the show. Tonight would be the first time that we're actually doing it to an audience. The adrenaline just starts rushing, so I think a lot of them are very nervous. There was one show that Mr. Fosky didn't like, and he did change it. And at the end of the day, if he doesn't like it, he's got the power to change it, and he does. And there is a problem. One of the male dancers was injured during rehearsals and won't be able to perform. Gerald might have to step in. It's absolute madness. You know, I have to save the day. Someone has to, someone has to step in, and I won't be happy, but the show must go on. I don't know if Gerald is going to dance or not. They're going to get through it somehow. 
I just don't know exactly how they're going to do it. VIPs have arrived. Buongiorno, benvenuto a bordo. Buongiorno, benvenuto a bordo. Mr. Foskey's guests are boarding. Now, the president is ready to take care of special business. The official sign over of the vessel. The final piece of the puzzle is in place. The ship officially belongs to Costa. The captain prepares to sail the Favalosa out of the shipyard for the first time, under his command. and then waved it goodbye, you know, kind of like we take their baby away, you know. That's the menu for tonight. Around 15 people, Mr. Foskey and friends. Starter, red tuna, just seared. Now, if there is any clients, they want, they would like to be more cook, we just do it. It's sad because a beautiful tuna, but mm. we, if they like it more cook, of course, we will cook a little bit more. Anything else? Anybody else? It's clear? It's clear. Okay, so I try to finish the menu before they arrive. <laughs> Give him all the medicine I have. Come, I'll give you this. Actually, you know what? Take all of them. Mm -hmm. What's that? It's just some um, water. And because the injured dancer will push through and perform tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shaking because I'm nervous. <laughs> the first run that we did with the costumes, I didn't get into half my costumes. I just arrived half naked on stage. I was like, I don't know how I'm going to do this. But we have rehearsed. Re we really have worked damn hard to get here, so I feel very confident. I think you need to walk in with the boys in burlesque. Yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. Way too much light. Cristiano, have they told you about the holes? We've lost two girls with the shoes now. Shushka shoe went right into the hole. Maybe they Yes, Ibrahim. They are, they are coming. They arrive. They're starting in a few minutes. As soon as you have all the dessert ready, you bring it up. The president is in the club restaurant and is ready to be served. It's a little bit uh, exciting. And at the same time, it's a little bit makes us nervous because it's the president. You need something to go over and over. And that's uh, adrenaline and heart and passion. Good evening. Ladies, have a good time. Go face the front, smile. Um, nervous is an understatement. <laughs> I think it's going to be fab.
and the pleasure to welcome all our top management and super super VIP friends in the theater for the first time. Enjoy the show, questo è Enchanted Castle! run um, in front of the audience, I think it went really, really well, and the audience responded really well. I think it was fabulous. Cool. Kick me out. Well, the Costa Favolosa has set sail at last, but it's early days. The real challenges are still to come. The fate of the ship lies in the hands of a group of critical journalists and travel experts who've seen it all. It will take all the tricks of the trade to sell this floating dream. Next, on Cruise Ship Diaries. 